Hello, beautiful people. Jess here with Key Tarot. Just going to do a real quick general reading. Let's say a quick blessing and we'll get rolling, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty. We are going to use this Vice Versa Tarot to, clear, uh, to start with. See how you guys are doing out there. Temperance out in the reverse. This is someone who's feeling very off balance right now. It's the card of Sagittarius. Um, it's someone who usually makes a lemonade out of lemons, but this person right now is having a hard time doing it. They could be a little depressed. Um, they could just be, they could be experiencing actual mental health issues for sure. Um, something, there's an energy of being off balance here and someone who's struggling in the day to day. I've got the Three of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who's healing from a, a breakup or an ending Three of Swords. I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? At some point it comes for all of us. That Three of Swords in the reverse is someone who is starting to experience a healing from this ending, meaning the ending has already happened. Okay. I ha oh, good, good, good. Oh, yay. Happy thoughts. Uh, I have the sun card that comes out with this ace of swords. This is someone who all of a sudden has some mental clarity that um, settles down on upon them. This, um, this sun card is the card of Leo, but this is someone who is slowly starting to come out of this funk. They're slowly starting to come out of some kind of depression. That's good. A slow return of energy. Gosh. I have the three of pentacles. This is someone who may be getting back to work. They may be starting a new job. They may be um, finally finding a friend group that they can settle in with. I have the chariot card here. There's someone who's uh, moving, possibly getting in the car and driving away from their physical location, maybe relocation there. Um, I have the three of pentacles, which again can be um, people who make sense for you, people who are helpful to you, people who are on the same page as you. This could be working with a team. This could be a team of doctors. This could be, again, in your workplace. This can also be in a friend group where you're all of a sudden finding your soul tribe. I like that. Uh, it's possible that you may have been a little bit lonely. You may have been lonely for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, we have this eight of swords. This is an energy of restriction um, in communication. Um, maybe you haven't been talking to people. It's almost like a self-imposed prison. Right. Um, like very loosely bound here, but someone who feels like they can't get out and now all of a sudden there's hope. And I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. This is someone, oh wow, okay. This is someone who's been having a really hard time opening up to other people about some of the things that they've been through in the recent past. Um, this is someone who's been holding on to a lot of pain alone. Um, I don't know if you're someone, whoever this reading is for, and this could be your reading, this could be about someone close to you, but this person's been feeling isolated, they've been feeling alone, like they haven't had anyone to talk to about all of these feelings. Um, this is someone who may struggle to really sleep fit, um, soundly at night. This is someone who, maybe a, a few people have hurt this person in their life. Um, and it, of course, we all hurt one another because we're human and usually it's um, without even meaning to. But we have a lot of emotions as humans and sometimes we wear our heart on our sleeve and sometimes people trample it. Um, this, okay. But it feels like whoever I'm reading for, there has been an awful lot of isolation um, it, it, and if not like physical isolation, like maybe you're someone who is around a lot of people on a daily basis, but you never really truly talk openly and honestly and genuinely with another person about how you're doing. There's like a lot of small talk in your environment, maybe. Um, 
I have the Queen of Wands, who all of a sudden, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but this Queen of Wands in the upright position is all of a sudden someone who is feeling like the warmth of the sun hit their face again for the first time, maybe getting fresh air, um, and just ready to be out and about. And it's a good thing too, because the Queen of Wands is good looking. Yeah, you are. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius. You've got this Temperance card, which is also Sagittarius, and you've got Leo, which is the sun. So you may be fire sign energy. Um, you've also got, can got Cancer here with this chariot energy. And Cancer Pisces Scorpio with this little page guy. Okay, um, but this Queen of Wands is someone who is highly magnetic, very attractive. It's possible that whoever has been feeling very off balance here, who's been depressed and recovering from this ending, um, you may have let yourself go for a time. Yeah, I'm hearing Couch Potato Central. Hey, no judgment. There is an actual Jessica size hole in the love seat as we speak, I promise. Um, yeah, Couch Potato Central. That was kind of like quarantine life for a lot of us, I think. Netflix and chill. Mm. Um, this, <laughs> this Queen of Wands energy though, all of a sudden people are starting to take notice of you again. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune out there, which is the energy of Sagittarius. And that is someone whose fortune and luck is starting to change. If you're someone who has been feeling all of this and you've been feeling like, man, the odds are just stacked against me lately. It's like everything I do thwarted at every turn. If that's the way you've been feeling, I think things are about to shift. Um, and there is heavy Sagittarius energy on this and that's just about like we got to get through like one more week of Libra and then we go through Scorpio and then Saggy season is on, upon us. Um, and this is someone who is starting to see that their future can be brighter starting to see that there's potential in themselves and in their future. You've got the three of wands with the magician underneath it. Very good. I gotta set that aside because that deck just keeps talking. It's printed on both sides, so you just can't put it down. But the three of wands, I always say it's the minor arcana of the magician. The magician is this energy of someone who knows the right things to work towards. And this manifestation ener energy is someone who knows what is meant for them. This person, whoever I'm reading for, all of a sudden you just have this renewed sense of energy and looking very nice, beautiful, handsome, whatever that is for you. Mm -hmm. Other people are starting to notice. Other people are starting to become quite attracted to you. Um, friends are coming back together. People are saying, hey, let's get together. Let's go out. Let's um, celebrate um, these changes that you're making in your life. You have the King of Swords that comes out here. Why do we have... Hold on, let me get another deck. But let me just... Uh... Okay. Um, whoever you are, really and truly, you're about to experience a lot of good karma coming your way. And there's going to be just kind of like an expulsion of you from this time of your life into the next phase. And it's going to be like being rocketed out of a cannon. Um, this is someone who... Um, you're going to start being very cautious of who you allow into your space um, because it feels like whoever was in your space before, they didn't leave it in as good of condition as when they found it um, in whatever way. And I think that you are saying, I just, I can't be, I just can't be part of anything, any kind of abuse in any way or neglect in any way. And I think that there are, you're, you're very suddenly starting to have a lot of options of people coming towards you, um, possible work coming towards you, friends, um, possibly romantic interests. And it feels like you're able to pick them out of a lineup like nope, nope, nope. All of a sudden you are highly um, intuitive and you're able to see what is not a good situation for you and what will not bring you any kind of prosperity or growth within yourself. And you're able to make faster decisions and not um, allowing people who shouldn't be in your space to linger there any longer than necessary. Wow, look at you, smarty pants. All right, let us use this Tarot of Wonderland to clarify real quick. I have this Ace of Cups here that I told you this deck just does not stop talking. Um, this Ace of Cups though is someone who remembers who they are and all of a sudden, this is the problem. I got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, this person, all of a sudden, you remembering who you are, which is this real, real spicy enchilada, yes? 
so good looking um, and so wonderful in so many ways, creative, um, very passionate about your life, someone who has a lot of positive energy to share with other people, highly magnetic. And once you recognize that again within yourself and once you claim that again as your own energy, which you know you will, um, it feels like you're not the only one that starts noticing that. Other people start noticing that and that is when this new relationship is about to present itself. And this new relationship is real lovey-dovey. And this person has seen you before. I don't know if you know that they've seen you before, but they have. And they have been waiting for an opportunity for you to be available. <sighs> All right. I've got the three of wands on the bottom of the deck again, super manifestation energy. And I got that twin flame, 11, 11, four of wands on the bottom of the deck under that, um, which is that um, being in the right place at the right time. It's a spiritual union. It can lead to marriage. It's all about stability. It's about growth and it's about a divine counterpart. All right. We're talking divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. Let's find out a little bit more. Oh yeah. I've got the magician in the reverse which we have out here, um, whoever, whoever this queen of wands energy was whenever they were in this, whatever is just recently ended, I feel like they didn't necessarily always want the right things for themselves. The magician in the reverse is someone who maybe isn't praying for the right things, maybe not praying for the right people. Um, Surrounding themselves with people whose behaviors just don't lead to anything good or healthy. Um, not a lot of growth. This was someone who may have struggled with um, drug abuse or addictions. This person could have been overwhelmed by just, just seeing like, just like a crushing amount of mental, emotional, response physical responsibilities um that came with whatever they've walked away from here and this magician in the reverse is someone who has had to get very honest with themselves about the fact that they don't really even know what the right choice is for them any longer um this is the energy of um surrender um, it's the Jesus take the wheel kind of energy. The I don't know what's right for me. Someone who's smarter than me, please help. Um, and it's someone who reaches out to a higher power because they recognized that the things that they thought they wanted for themselves weren't the right things. And they didn't bring them good um, good things in their life. See, the magician, whenever they're in the reverse, that's someone who practices black magic. And I'm not saying that you are somebody who practices black magic, but it's this energy of someone who recognizes that by not wanting the right things in their life, they accrued challenging karma to deal with. Challenging karma in the way of difficult relationships, difficult life circumstances. You know, I was I call it like when you experience the Jerry Springer version of your life, it is no bueno. And when you see yourself in that place and you say, how the hell did I get here? That's when you start to make a change. That's when you get down on your knees and you ask for guidance. If only we did that first, but we don't. <laughs> Most of the time we don't. Um, so this is someone who recognizes the need for help from a higher power. Good job, you. Good job, you. Like it. I've got the Justice card. This is the, t the card of Libra, the season that we're in right now. Um, it can be an energy of divorce. It can be an energy of um, legal paperwork. It can be... Things working out better than you expected them to whenever they're, when we have this in the reverse. And this can also just be the timeline of when this person has been experiencing this. So tell me more about these new good things that are coming towards you. Let's see. I got the four of cups. That's not a good energy. No. <laughs> this is what's happened though. This person, whoever you are, this whole time that you've been um, being a couch potato or whatever it is, super bummed out in whatever way, you've been focusing on the things that caused you a lot of pain. And while you were doing that, God was conspiring with the universe to bring you this Ace of Cups. What was I saying? Once you remember who you are, you start to vibrate at this Ace of Cups frequency and it sneaks up on you right out of nowhere. OK, 
Okay, so this will be someone who's kind of a surprise. And I have the Four of Swords that goes underneath that. You got a lot of fours out there. Um, this Four of Swords is someone who's taking a break. Um, whoever this person is that's got their eye on you, it feels like you haven't seen them in a while. And they may know that you've been through this separation, this ending. They may be watching you go through this. They may be going through this themselves. I have the Emperor out and I have the Knight of Swords. The Emperor is our card of Divine Masculine. So there we have it. This is real twin flamey looking here. But this Emperor is the card of Aries. And this is someone who, this is probably the person that's watching you. Not necessarily an Aries. Doesn't even have to be a male. But that's the energy behind it is this heavy masculine, Divine Masculine energy of someone who has been watching. They're very smart. They lead the crowd. There's someone who is pretty stable. They've got themselves pretty worked out. And they um quite attracted to this Queen of Wands energy. My goodness. Um, and this Knight of Swords right here. This person wants to make sure you're in a healthy place. My goodness, that is just very mature of this person. This person may be a little older, they may be wiser, something like that. Or maybe they just are very, they just may be a smart cookie. Um, maybe they know you've been through a lot. With this Knight of Swords energy that comes out on its side, this is someone who does not want to take things too quickly. They want to make sure things are done the right way. They don't want to say the wrong thing and upset you and run you off. Run you off. Hmm. I have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the minor arcana of the Empress. And that is someone who's very single, very independent, specifically someone who's lacking in past codependencies. Good job. You've cleared away a lot of emotionally, emotional, mental, spiritual, even physical debris from yourself. You may be getting up off that sofa, getting back into the gym, whatever works for you, right? That Nine of Pentacles energy right there, that Emperor is wanting to move towards that person. And I've got the Ace of Wands, oh no, and I got the Eight of Pentacles right there. So this Ace of Wands is a lot of sexual passion. It's pretty much the most foul card we have in the entire deck. And this person, once they see you, once they contact you, I mean, it's kind of on. This person is probably, I mean, this will be a fast moving relationship once it starts. And I think this Emperor knows that because I think they've been watching you at a distance for a while. They may show up at your work with that Eight of Pentacles energy. Oh boy. They may watch your work in some way. I have the world card in the reverse. Um, this is... What we, back to, back to the beginning of this, um, whoever this person is, whoever you are that I'm reading for, if this is your reading, you may be struggling a little bit to move on from this three of swords situation and this kind of clinging to the past energy and like no judgment. I don't mean to say clingy, um, but holding on to some of these energies from the past, whatever that looks like for you is, is what has kind of been keeping you stuck. And I think you know that in whatever way, and you'll know how that applies to you. And I'm not trying to be harsh or judgy in any way, but I think that you know when it's time to let go of someone, I think you're ready to do that. Um, this world card is the final card in a major deck of um, Tarot, right? And it, it, it indicates the very ending. So that, and that's what has to happen before we get right back around to the fool energy, right? And that's when we can start those new beginnings. That goes right on top of that Queen of Wands energy. And I turned it upright for you. Yes, I did. Because I think you are ready. I really do think you are ready. I think you've grown a lot. You have released a lot, obviously. Um, either you released a lot or it was released for you. And who cares at this point? We have a major shift in your reality. We have a major shift in your circumstances. My nose is itching all of a sudden. We have a major shift in just your overall good vibe. Vibes, all right, there's heavy manifestation energy. You got the magician out twice. You've got, um, oh, yeah, you've got the magician out twice, three of wands out there twice. 
you've made a lot of important discoveries as to who you are, who you want to allow into your life, and what's not going to work for you anymore. Those red flags are real bright for you these days. You can see it coming from a mile away. You won't be make, say, making the same mistakes twice. There's a lot of healing that's happened for you, and it feels like as soon as you walk through this door, waiting for you on the other side, is that emperor energy. All right, much love to you guys. What an excellent reading for you, whoever you are. I wish I was you, maybe. <laughs> All right, talk to you soon.